Hello, I'm Tim Morris, and today I'm going to discuss figure 16, and this is in the general section. We've, give, we've been given a schematic here to look at, and I'm just going to uh, familiarize you with the different parts of this schematic. We have a bus bar along the top. This bus supplies three different circuit groups within this schematic. On the left, we have what I call the control schematic. We'll come back to that in the middle minute. In the middle, this section in the center is merely the um, lights, the indicator lights, cockpit indicator lights. And this circuit is feeding that. That's the job of this coming off this circuit breaker. The, on the right is a valve, and this valve is the fuel tank crossfeed valve. This is a valve down at the fuel tank. And you'll see FCF means fuel cross feed. Starting on the left, let's, the biggest group here is the control group. We have a fuel selector. And most of the time, you're flying the airplane, it's in normal condition, norm. But you can select the fuel selector switch to right hand tank. You can select it to left hand tank, and you could, or you could select it to cross feed. So this is the selector. Each one of these lines uh, runs a, a set of relays for that selection. So let's look at the crossfeed real quick. If you flip this over to crossfeed, power comes out of, of wire number five down to the right hand tank here through this crossfeed and down to this relay down below. That's called the FCF or fuel crossfeed. See, X feed, crossfeed, fuel crossfeed relay. That's going to pull this relay here, and power coming down off five is going to zigzag through this circuit here. So depending on if you select left, uh, you go down the left line, there's left tank uh, selector, L LTS relay, and it's going to open this relay, and once again, electric is going to zigzag through this little maze here. Uh, Right-hand tank, same thing. He's going to run this right tank um, selector relay okay the indication circuit over here on the right as we as we do these different selections is just going to tell us what happened and that's going to run the cockpit controls down at the bottom we've got this fuel pressure cross feed valve this valve the purpose of these selectors is they're going to run this valve open and or close and allow fuel to go through a different set of pipes. So this zigzag circuit here is merely just a, a way to get this to either run open or run close. When this gets to the end of its travel, there is a limit switch. 11 is a limit switch. So once in this situation, it looks like the um, we are going to uh, provide, if power ends up at terminal B, it provides power to this crossfeed closed indicator. And on the other side, uh, the limit switch, when the, when the valve gets to the end of its travel, it will put power to C, which is the, this relay up here. Okay, so, so this is the, the trick on this is we're going to zigzag through here on this control circuit. Once things move, it's going to give us a cockpit indication through this circuitry. And if we run... Um, we can also, the, the fuel tank crossfeed valve can be opened and closed through this circuit. And this one here, we kind of sometimes forget about, and the FAA will throw some questions at us on that.